channel. I am so excited today to be sharing my entryway decorate with me for Halloween 2020. It is gonna be stunning. The house is crazy today. I am so sorry for all the noise, but there are kids everywhere and I am just, we're having fun for Halloween. So you're definitely gonna see lots of kids in this video. So what we're doing today is we're gonna actually be doing a bat swarm up the stairs. I'm gonna be tucking into beautiful spider webs everywhere and we're gonna transform this house into a nice spooky castle. I am so excited. If it's your first time here, my name is Lauren. I do all things home decor. I am a mama of four kids and I love making our house a memorable place for them and for you as well. If you feel inspired by these videos, please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Okay guys, so first what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually take this out of here today. We're gonna try a different table here. I have some pillows to go back there and then I'm gonna do tons of spooky spider webs, kind of make these pictures look old. Our house is an 1891 Victorian, so it's pretty easy to make this place look spooky. Um, there's Enzo, hey Enzo. Hi, Neat. Okay, then up here, down the stairs, I'm gonna be doing a bat swarm. Why I love this is it's kind of big here, so I'm gonna go big, 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 and then kind of small and trickle all the way up the stairs. I may do a nice big spider web right in this area just to kind of make this spooky since like, so this all will be spider web here. And then I'm thinking up here, so I'm sure you guys saw this on my Instagram. I We took your guys' advice, went with this same chandelier and we put the mirror that used to be in the hallway between the kitchen up here and I just think it looks terrific. We're still in the process of getting all the frames together to do the stairwell, but for now, I think this turned out really, really beautiful. In this area, this turret, which I love, gonna be doing some spooky things here and just make this place a lot spookier than it is now. I'm also gonna show you guys all the decor I have for Halloween so you can take a look at that and maybe get some inspiration. We're gonna definitely be changing this area up too. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna put here, but something good, that's for darn sure. I'll definitely keep this, um, this all here. I just don't quite know what we're gonna do with it yet. Definitely some spooky spider webs there though. Okay. It says Sanderson Sisters Brewing Co. Premium Witches Brew. I love this. I thought it'd be super cute to put on for today to kind of get in that spirit of Halloween. I am so excited. I will put this link down below and another shirt I got that says um, Basic Witch. And it has the, um, it looks like a Starbucks cup. So I love these. I'll link them down below. Just wanted to get in the vibe. And I am so excited you guys are here. Again, if it's your first time here, my name is Lauren. I do all things home decor and I am so excited to get started. So let's do this. So to get started, I'm gonna actually bring up everything from the basement for Halloween. Even though I'm not gonna be using all of this, I just wanna show you guys what I'm working with this year. Okay guys, so I just wanna show you a couple things we're working with today. I have a bunch of pillows here. I just picked this up at Walmart. I loved it. It's really, um, I like the stitching here. I just think it's like really beautiful. And I have this one I think I also got this year from Walmart and then these were from Target Dollar Spot as well. And then here are the bats I got. These are linked down below also from my bats from last year. So if you're looking for those giant bats, um, definitely, definitely click the link below. I purchased five of these. I promise you they are the right ones. They're nice and big. Like look how big that bat is. Oh my God, it's gonna look so good. Okay. So those are our bats for this year. Here is a wreath I used last year for my Decorate With Me. And I'm gonna actually use this um, hand to kind of hold it up. I just think that looks so cute and then put a bunch of bats on it. And then as far as the rest of our decor in here, I have a ton of spider webs we're gonna be using. I got these at the dollar store and we've got bats on bats on bats. We'll do this for our Halloween spooky party. I've got big spiders for the porch, which you guys will see probably next week. I'm hoping to do it next weekend. Um, here's the big spider web. Here's some more home decor and just all kinds of little things in here. I got these at the dollar spot at Target. I just love these. I think I showed you these in my fall haul as well. I got this at Walmart and this little sign at the dollar store. We're definitely gonna be using those this year. These are great little trees that were also at the dollar spot at Target. I grabbed a couple of those. And then here are the spiders we're gonna be doing on the front porch. I'm really excited. I did a bat swarm last year, but this year we're gonna be doing spiders. And then just some cute little things for a tiered tray and just decor around the house. Here are the new pillowcases I can't wait to show you. So you'll definitely have to look for our um, 
porch decorate with me so you can see how those turned out. And just some more fun decor spiders, cute little things you guys saw all this on my decor haul. So I think it's time to get started. So to get started, I'm going to use my Mrs. Meyers cleaning day just to kind of make this room smell good and get everything nice and clean. I'm gonna vacuum this space. I'll probably have to vacuum a bunch because we're using all these cobwebs, but now that I'm in the space, I actually think I'm gonna keep this desk here and I think I'm gonna turn this instead of a castle into a bed and breakfast. There are a lot of old um, bed and breakfasts around where we live, so I think I'm gonna do that instead. Plus, those Amazon pillows that came, there was a dead and breakfast pillow, so it's gonna go perfect in this space. Okay, so much like we did last year, I'm gonna start by putting big bats everywhere. So we're gonna do big bats all the way up there. I might put a couple through here and here. I'm definitely gonna put some bats here as well. So what I have here are different size large bats. So I like the really, really big ones. There's this brand, which is a little bit flimsy, but then these, oops, these ones are really nice. They're super thick and they're actually double-sided, which I really like. And then we've got some medium size. So I'm gonna start with the big ones. Then I'll move to the medium size, then this size, this size, and then these teeny, teeny, tiny ones, which I really like. They kind of just fill in between. And then I'm gonna try the hot glue gun. I have not done this. I have it on low heat with this particular glue gun. It's a high and low heat. Oops, sorry. But you guys get the picture. So we're gonna do that, and we're also gonna try these little glue dots as well. If the glue dots work, that's great. I just don't know how well these are gonna adhere to the walls. We're lucky because this is high gloss, so it should just pop right off, but we're gonna test it first before we get started. a really small amount of the hot glue on low heat. I'm gonna test in this area. I popped this guy off, it worked perfectly. And now I'm going to actually just start putting all the large bats up first. One of the things I would suggest is definitely Google search the types of bat swarms you want. This is the type I like. You can have them in a swirling motion, which is also super cool, but just given the architecture of the space, I kind of wanted everything very linear going up the staircase, but definitely find the vibe that you like best. I would love to know in the comments down below for all of you mamas out there, do your kids like spooky stuff or do they like kind of cutesy, Halloween-y, um, like bats and little things that don't scare them? I'm like teetering on the edge because some of my kids love the spooky stuff and some of my kids absolutely hate it. I wanted to show you guys what I did last year. We just did two giant spiders kind of coming up the stairwell and I loved it, but I'm really loving the way these bats are turning out. Now that our first bat swarm is done, I am so excited about how this turned out. It's so beautiful and fun, and I really filled it in this year. I didn't want to do a little bit, so now we're going to just put a little here on this side, and we'll be done with that, and we can get started on our spooky spider web. Thank you. 
I'm gonna actually end up using those little sticky dots to put up all of our um, spider webs. I didn't end up putting them for all of these bats because honestly cleaning up the dots from the bats would have been way too much. These honestly they just pop right off with the hot glue gun but it's not going to be the same for the spider web. So I would use those little dots that come in the package for these and just put like two or three up to just hold um, the spider web up. But I'm loving how this is turning out. It is so spooky in this hallway. one of my favorite parts of today's decorate with me I actually picked up these hands at Target they were about I think three dollars a piece and I'm going to actually tuck in one of these grapevine wreaths you guys have seen me use this a lot in my decorate with me's I have a couple of them I picked this one up at Michaels but you can get them at Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna tuck another hand in so it almost looks like the skeleton hand is holding up the wreath and then I'm gonna add a little bit of our awesome spider webs to everything in this area. And then I'm gonna hot glue on some of the bats, um, the little bats that we had from the uh, stairwell onto these as well. absolutely love how this turned out you guys I think I'm definitely gonna have to do this for the front porch as well put spider webs all over our black door and then add something very similar to this so definitely check that out it will be up later this week and everything else just looks so spooky I did extra thick uh, spider webs throughout the house because I really wanted it to be noticeable but um, you'll see in this area I'm gonna go a little bit lighter but I'm gonna cover this entire wall in spider webs Tell me in the comments down below, do you guys like using these spider webs? Do you find them a little difficult to use? It's over the years, I've, it's kind of been a trick to figure out how to use them, but I have finally found the way to do it. Do you guys love using them or do you find it a bit of a challenge too? So I want to give you guys some tips on how I actually spread out my spider webs. I This stuff I actually picked up at the dollar store. I don't like spending a ton of money on it. And what I do is I actually take everything out of the bag and I measure it out to about how much I will need for a space. So for this space I had used a little bit of leftover because I didn't want too much here. And then the key to it is actually spreading the spider web and stretching it out as much as possible and then securing it to several different anchor points. I've, Like I said, I use those little dots and then I am actually going to be anchoring it to all different points like on this mirror and then on the wall as well. It feels weird because when you actually have the spider web, you're like, I don't want to pull it too much or it's going to have gaps. It doesn't work like that. It actually will pull with you almost like a cotton ball and you'll see that it will actually start to look more and more like a spider web the more you pull it. Here is the adorable little pillowcase that I got from 
Amazon, I will link this down below. It came with four in the pack and this is kind of what inspired this space. It says dead in breakfast, so cute. I will definitely link this down below, but let's get started kind of decorating this area. Now, what I love about this desk is I'm actually gonna use it much like one would a tiered tray. I'm going to kind of tuck in all these little cute Halloween things and almost make it look like the entryway to a bed and breakfast. Most of this stuff I got at the dollar store, I got at Target dollar section, and some of it I may have picked up at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if you guys saw from my Target fall haul, but I picked up these adorable little poison jars. I have to tell you guys, more and more often, I am picking up stuff at the dollar section like two seasons early. It's Halloween right now, so well, it's October, and I just, saw all the Christmas stuff out already and I picked up a ton of stuff only because by the time it's Halloween and I'm decorating, all of this stuff is gone. So I picked these up and I think they look so cute tucked in this little cabinet I didn't even realize was in here. And all these little drawers, I might pull one out and put a bunch of um, skulls in there as well. Editing, I have to laugh because Enzo, our cat, sleeps all day. But when I am doing a YouTube video for you guys, she is always by my side. So I feel like she's my little YouTube assistant because she, like, even in this scene, like, she's just pops up. She's got to be in there somewhere. She is so cute. I just love how she has to be involved. But I am also loving how this turned out. It looks so spooky, but also not too scary, but also beautiful. I loved this little cabinet with these little poison things in there. I was gonna add those to a tear tray, but they look so much better here. And who doesn't need a drawer of skulls? I love this. Those skulls on the pedestal I actually got at the dollar store, and I don't know if they're still there now, but I love how this turned out, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, hello, Enzo. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite part so far about this entryway. We still have a little bit more to do. a little bit of spider web to this area. I just felt like it looked too clean. It looked not spooky enough. So I'm gonna add a bunch of it through here and maybe a couple more spiders too.
this looks so much better. I'm so glad that I ended up putting spider webs all over here. I love how it looks, all the spider webs over all the little details. It just looks so good, you guys. I love it. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I hope you loved this Halloween Decorate With Me. I hope it inspired you to get your entryway all spooky for the season. And I cannot wait to bring you our front porch Decorate With Me for this Halloween. We also have a 12 foot skeleton we're gonna be putting up in the yard and so much more home decor. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video and put your comments down below, guys. What was your favorite part about this Decorate With Me? I'll see you soon.